So I, what I was saying was this watch I like a lot. The style is different than the others. It has a lot of rubber for the band and the case. And um, what I like about it is it takes me back to the old days when these watches first were developed. They were, we called them divers watches because they were made to go underwater. So, you know, who would have an underwater watch? Well, the divers had them and that's what they marketed it for. But we just all like the style. So even if we weren't scuba divers, we would wear these watches. And uh, this reminds me of that. And I put it on today because I feel like, you know, who knows, I might go underwater. Now, <laughs> what is the impact of the blue kind of iridescent plating on the eye? I mean, because you're a professional designer, and what when you have a watch like that, what do you see, and how do you interpret it? Well, I love the color blue, and uh, it doesn't really obstruct my vision at all of the watch. It frames it very nicely. It frames the, the watch well, and uh, that little hint of blue... Uh, that we see uh, is also part of what I liked about the early divers watches. All, although they would have um, some bright colors like uh, maybe a lime green or something or a yellow with the black. And so it popped out that way. And this blue does the same thing in a way. It's just a, a, just a different color to work with. But, but uh, it's amazing how a small amount of iridescent blue stands out. Yeah. As much as it does. Yeah, it does.